So I want to start with entering the passcode, 3482. And scrolling down to application configuration. Here you have the different types of application you can choose from, pump all purpose, center pivot slash linear irrigation, air compressor, hose rail irrigation, and frost protection. I'll touch on all these briefly, starting with pump all purpose. So the auto start stop function, in this menu you have a single contact, local key start, which is actually the button press here, a two contact maintain, you could use that for floats, two contact momentary, you could also use that for floats, pressure transducer, level transducer, and flow transducer. Auto start stop function. You have single contact, local start key, which is the green key here. Two contact maintain, you could use that for floats. Two contact momentary, you could use for floats. You would set those start and stop contacts in the IO section. Pressure transducer, level transducer, and flow transducer. The transducers you'll set up in the analog input section. Today I'll select pressure transducer. You have pressure, pressure transducer up here in the menu. There's where your start pressure is and your stop pressure, where you want that to start and stop. Going back, if I were to change this to level transducer, you have a level transducer menu, start and stop level. And the same would, would be true with flow. Not to confuse anything, I'll set this to local start key. Your auto throttle method, you have maximum RPM, pressure transducer, level transducer, flow transducer, and a local throttle input. The pressure transducer, level transducer, and flow transducer are set to maintain a pressure, maintain a level, or maintain a flow. So setting your auto throttle method to pressure transducer, you'd go to the pressure transducer menu. This is where you would find your maintained pressure, dead band pressure, pressure maintained, whether it's discharge or suction, whether you want it steady or proportional. You also have some line fill speeds. The line fill speed is, if you have a line fill speed one, it'll run at 900 RPM after warm up, and you have a delay, so it'll run for Say, if, if you had five minutes in there, you'd run at 900 RPM for five minutes or until you reached a desired pressure. And then you have your start and stop pressure again. Since we're not using a start stop as the function, it would ignore that. The same is true for level and flow, how I went through pressure. The local throttle input is used when selected in the analog inputs as local throttle, zero to five volts. And then max RPM. This is the setting if you're wanting to maintain a certain RPM. I'll leave it at max RPM. The warnings and shutdowns within the application configuration menu is where you'll find your high level warning, high level shutdown, low level, high flow, low flow, high discharge, low discharge, high suction, low suction, high pump housing temp, high pump oil temp. These settings, you do not have to start or stop or throttle to levels, pressures, or flows. You can set this in the analog menu and warn or shut down without having an auto start or auto throttling type set.